head and up to say just goodbye every time you say goodbye to someone. Today I will be teaching you five ways to say goodbye and make yourself like a pro. Hi, this is Mr. William. 大家好，我是威廉先生。In our everyday life, we do have to say goodbye to many people.、Um, but is there any better way to say goodbye than the old traditional goodbye? So today I will be teaching five ways to say goodbye, and you can use it by the end of this video. The first one is "Have a good day." Have a good day. Have a good day is a foremost way to say goodbye. Um, if you're working in hospitality, in cafe, in restaurant, you'll constantly hear the waiter saying "Have a good day" to you when you're leaving, which means that "Have a good day" is not too a casual form. It's only used in a formal situation. So in this case, you want us to say "Have a good day" to people that you don't really know well, to strangers, but not really to your friends. The second one is take care. Take care. A lot of times you hear take care in films or on the street, but normally we say take care when we are not going to see the person for a while, most likely over a week, which means that you wish that person to take care of themselves in between the time that you're not able to see that person. So, in that case, we will say take care. Take care. The third one I use the most, the most, pretty much I use it every day when I'm working. It's have a good one, have a good one, have a good one is very easy to use and really common. You might notice it's very similar to have a good day, but have a good one is a friendlier tone to、uh, people who you're speaking to. So it can be your friend, it can be customer. But it's not going to be that formal. So if you're in a very, very formal environment situation, you probably want to say "Have a good day" or "Have a good evening" to substitute "Have a good one." But overall, "Have a good one" is very useful when you're talking to your friends. The fourth one is peace. Peace. I think the original form was "peace out." That was quite a long time ago that people use it, but、uh, people say "peace." I think it's come from a pop culture back in the days. Nowadays we say "peace" more than "peace out," but yeah, if you see somebody say "peace," means that you guys are quite close and it's just being playful. The last one is "catch you later." Catch you later. Catch you later is also a very casual form. You use it to say to your friend, somebody you're really close to, but of course not to stranger. Catch you later means that you're expecting to see this person quite soon, if not the same day. So you can say, "Oh yeah, catch you later, catch you later, man." So to sum up, we have learned five other ways to say goodbye in English. Which is, have a good day, take care, have a good one, peace, and catch you later. So hopefully next time you're gonna say goodbye to somebody, you can use these words instead of that old traditional goodbye. This is Mr. William, and I'll catch you later.